I'm here. Hey, hey darling. You doing all right? Yeah. What's up, man? All right, good. You doing all right? Good to see you. Yeah. And they trying to get a piece of the donkey. I'm not going to let that happen. That's right. My thing is, is I like Kenya, but does it sound like a whole bunch of hocus pocus? The, the reality is it's a one-day shoot. She sent in a budget that was just inflated. She had a four-camera setup. I told her we could get by with three cameras. I mean, you don't need a, you know, a set for $7,000 if you're shooting an exercise video. You need a gym and some lights and, and some mats and, and go to work. And she even agreed that the changes that I suggested were right on point. And I was expecting a new budget today, so. Do you have a new contract? No, I mean, I haven't seen anything from her. Hi, I'm here to see Phaedra? Yeah, she's expensive. Okay, great. So, you guys let me know what you want to do. We'll take it from there. All right. All right. Thank you, darling. Hi. Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, okay. This Hi. is one of my producers, Brandon, Brandon. the Shazer. Nice to meet you. That is my husband, Apollo. All right. Well, darling, I'm glad you decided to come in today because I got the, the budget and I got the text message saying that you wanted to be 10% on the back end. And you know I'm crazy about you. But I am trying to figure out if we're going to be able to work together. Well, the thing is, Phaedra, your attorney called me yesterday, and I was a little taken aback by some of the comments that he made. He said that it didn't make sense for me to receive any back end whatsoever. And I do have a really big problem with that. I secured a distribution deal. All I asked for was 10% of whatever the profits were to be made from that deal that I secured. That's completely reasonable. I don't work for free. I don't endeavor to produce projects that I don't have ownership in. This is how I make my living. This is my bread and butter. The budget is so small, that's not an incentive for me I to work you. for less than $5,000. You know, Todd, Candy's boyfriend, he's got a production company. And I had a conversation with him this morning. He says, Phaedra, you know, that amount of money for a workout video is totally absurd. I could do it for a quarter of that. Talking to Todd after I've put in all of this work because you think my budget is too high and you don't wanna pay me? Well, first off, you get what you pay for. And I'm insulted that you would even entertain the conversation when I've busted my butt for you. I handle multi-million dollar films. This is a drop in the bucket for me. He says that she has produced multi-million dollar films. Unfortunately, I have never heard of one of them. I think 10% is quite a bit much. I usually get 50%, Phaedra. From who? They crazy. You're getting 90% of the pie, and all I'm asking for is 10% of that, and that isn't fair to you? You cannot recoup any money unless you have a distribution deal. We understand that. that. No, you don't understand no. that. You act like we're just dead fish, and, and no one's going to pick it up. It's going to sell Buku copy. This donkey booty. Oh, Lord. That thing, it speak for itself. <laughs> it, it walk in the room and it do all the talking. Right, but you have to translate that you know into sales. Oh, honey, it translate every day. I'm sitting on a pot of gold. But what I'm saying at is the it, end of the day, this is going to sell itself. Exactly. You don't do workout videos. This is new for you. Has he ever done a workout video? Yeah. Have you ever done a workout no. video? No. Production okay. is production. It is production. It is the same formula. You ain't going to give Chef Boyardee to President Obama just like uh, I'm not going to give caviar to Aiden. And if you would have came to me and said, you know what, this is the budget at 100. You know what, I would like to partner with you. I would like 10% of the proceeds. I'm willing to cut my cost, let's say 50. Then I could have thought about it and said, you know what, that might not be a bad idea because you're saving me. It's very clear Apollo is stuck between a rock and a hard place. He's married to Phaedra and he wants to do business with me. And I think if I have an intelligent conversation with Apollo, I can maybe get the project back on track and make everybody happy. You know, I, I, I love you to death. You know, I love your husband to death. But at the end of the day, don't start. At the end of the day, this is about business. I need to feel good about the deal that's yeah, in place. We all you need, need to. to feel good and comfortable. All right. We'll, we'll look at the numbers and uh, and we'll get back with you, I guess. All right. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. I can barely buy a pair 
$1,000 shoes with what they're paying me. Right. And I only wear $1,000 shoes. Right. So, please. Okay, Eric. So, did you hear the conversation? Yes, 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 yes. You know, if she's willing to negotiate, you let me know. If not, I have no problem finding another production company and you guys can be off and running in no time. I mean, the distribution deal is good <clears throat> because it's kind of hard to find somebody wow. who can put you mainstream like that and, you know, basically everywhere. Apollo is definitely the fitness expert and I am definitely the business expert. So if this is going to work, we both have to recognize what each of us does best. And when it comes to business, I am a boss. Oh. She does got a nice donkey booty, though. <laughs> That's why I believe in her, but... But I'm not bad myself. Let me give you a little twirl, Miss Sage, or a little twirl, okay? The we'll twirl. make our own video. Yes, we'll make our own video. <laughs> if we decide not to go with Kenya, then what, what happens to y'all's relationship? Well, the good thing here is we haven't been friends for that long. <laughs>